What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right. Well, I want, I'm want i really excited right now because I just tried a little experiment, and it succeeded. And I did actually get all 30 chests, all 30 daily focus chests for my alt account. Now, what I did here, and I, I'm, it's going gonna, it's gonna to unlock in about six and a half minutes, so we'll hopefully end the video with me opening up all 30 chests just to see what I get. I, I'm not expecting much, but it was just the challenge of going for it was a lot of fun, and, uh, and so I wanted to share my, my kind of experience with it and how I think people can go about doing this and what I think some of the implications for this will end up being. So I have a primary... My deck is primarily gold, right? It's not even maxed for gold. And oddly enough, my focus today was earth. And as you can see here, I have a level five obsidian. So my cards aren't, my sorry, my earth cards are not even maxed for gold. Yet I was able to pull this off. Now, let me let me give you a little breakdown. So far in this alt account, I've played two days. I've done two grind sessions with it. The first was to get out of, you know, the bronze. And I had rented a couple of legendary summoners. I got to about like a 14 or 1500 rating. And and was just kind of sitting there and I had earned, I don't know, I forgot how many season chests I had earned, but um, you know, I was kind of happy with that one day grind. Then I was looking at the account today and I was like, you know what, I need to rest my, my main account because my ECR is totally down the drain. So I figured why not delegate the cards over to this account and try to go for go for, you know, as, as far as I can, like if I can push this to gold, see what happens, just start playing on this account. Instead of having to go out and rent cards, I can just delegate cards and kind of do this back and forth, right? While this delegation exploit, I don't know if it's necessarily an exploit, but uh, while this delegation, you know, opportunity exists. So I delegated my cards over and I started winning chest by the bundles because keep in mind, early on, you only need to get like 300 bronze chest. So keep in mind, I'm only I'm earning bronze chest here, but three sorry 300 focus points uh, for these first couple of ones. As you get to higher high, and higher leagues, you can see there's like a 50,000 difference, right? So maybe this is this last one was about 60,000 difference. So. As you can see here, I started at 100% ECR. I, I grinded down to maybe 55% on my ECR. So it took, a it took a little bit. And you can see there's, you know, I have the games to back it up and prove it. Um, for the most part, I just spammed my own splinter, the, the focus splinter that I needed. But you can see here that there were other times when I thought I might get countered hard, that I would, you know, just play another, play another splinter to shake it up and just, you know, Keep, keep people on their toes. Sometimes that worked, you know, sometimes it didn't, but it was one of those things where as I got closer to the end, I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm running out of time first and I wanna make sure that I'm not wasting any ECR. But as you can see here, by the end, I was still earning a good amount, about 9,000 per, um, 9,000 per, uh, actually it was about 10,000, but I guess my, my ECR came down here. So about 9,000 per win. But if we just round it up to 10,000, that would make these last couple of chests, you know, I, I, I hit chest 28 and I was like, oh, I need like 10 or 11 more wins with where my ECR is at when I'm earning on average. So I was like, let me, let me just go for it because I just, I just kept grinding and I was like, you know what? I, I might as well see if I can do it, see if it's possible. I know others have done it. And so that is essentially the strategy, right? You have to break it up into two sessions because if you start all the way from the beginning, right? If you start from rating zero, you're going to run out of ECR as you get up to the higher levels. So this, you know, what I've accomplished within this league so far, getting 90 chests for the season is completely, uh, is, is completely, what's the word I want to use? Oh, it's, sorry. It's, it's just completely two days. That's, that's it, right? It, like there's nothing else added to it. Now, what's going to be interesting moving forward as I look beyond this is I'm already in gold. I can delegate to this account later when the ECR is back up to hundred percent. And whatever focus I have, I can probably get some crazy amounts because keep in mind, if I'm earning, you know, what did I say? 9,000 right now. So we'll just, we'll just say if I could probably earn close to 20,000, right? Um, just to keep it simple. I mean, if I earn 20,000 per winning gold while I'm earning bronze level chests, that, that first win is going to take me up to, let's see here. Okay, so this is the total, right? So that first win is going to get me all the way up to, where's 20,000? 
Uh, well, let's just say 70. I'm going to get four. <laughs> the next time I play a game on here with a full ECR and do it for my Forex Explorer, I'm going to get 17 bronze chests. So this is absolutely insane. Now, what is the value of a bronze chest? I'm still going off of the numbers that I think Gank and Tales from the Cryptmancer and Neil had posted a while back. I don't know if there's been an update, but if I assume if there has been an update, the numbers are probably up just because of the fact that the new rewards cards are going for a little bit higher in price. So the fact that like I can come in here every couple of days and and you know maybe make another run right because when you think about it if i'm getting 20,000 per uh per win i would only need like 20 wins maybe 25 wins in gold and that's not that's not terribly difficult. I mean, I had way more wins than that today because I was coming from mid-silver. I was coming from a 1500 rating, which uh, just for, for context here is silver too. So, you know, there there's plenty of room to be able to improve on this strategy for me. And what I wonder, okay, so uh, we got about another minute here, but looking ahead, what I what I wonder if people are going to do, and I, I'm going to throw this idea out because I'm thinking about it myself. So I want to share it with you and get your feedback. But what if people just started having these alt accounts where they could delegate for a season and not not a season, but, you know, a couple times in a season, earn a crap ton of bronze chests and then let it sit for two seasons? Because keep in mind, next season, this account will automatically be earning gold chests, right? So, sure, I have a gold level deck. It'll be good to go back and forth. But since I'm going to start in silver, part of me is just like, well, Maybe the incentive now is to start a bunch of different alt accounts and then, you know, whatever alt accounts I run up to gold this season, I let them rest for two seasons, right? Because next season they're going to finish in silver if I don't touch them. And then the season after that, they go back down to bronze. You get what I'm saying? So this could be, this could be really interesting. Whereas if I decide to do something like that, I, you could have a bunch of different alt accounts running around, running absolutely crazy. It'd be a lot to manage, and I don't know that I want to do it, but I definitely feel like many others are going to. So I'm not trying to like, I don't think that this is a brand new idea that I have, but I'm just trying to call it out because if I have this idea, I know many, many others probably do too. So that's that's kind of where my head's at after this. I want to go ahead and let's let's refresh this page and see if we can claim all 30 chests. There we go. Read it and weep. Let's do it. All right. So... I'm going to hit the reveal all. Now, these are bronze level chests, so I'm not expecting much. And my grind today for 30 chests, if the value is actually three cents, is probably like a dollar, right? Maybe not even that if uh, if I'm not good on the RNG. But every, every chest is a roll of the dice. And the fact that I get more of them makes it even better. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, DEC, bunch of potions. Uh, okay, come on. Give me, oh, 300 DEC. So right off the bat, okay, we got some of the new rare cards, some, some of the new rewards cards. So not too bad. And as I've been telling you guys, I plan to just go and sell these cards right now because they're going for uh, a decent premium. But let's go ahead and actually check Peak Monsters because I want to take a look at my Explorer here. And can we do rewards? And they have my rewards from two days ago. So there we go. So with all these rewards, total card value is 23 cents. And is that it? Oh, and cards burn value is 45 DEC. It doesn't say how, where the total DEC is, does it? Why did I think that it did? Cards total value. Okay, well, I got 23 cents worth of cards. <laughs> so, you know, take that take that for what you will. The I'm just going to count the 300 DEC. 300 DEC is roughly 30 cents. So there you go. I didn't even make the 90 cent average that I was thinking that I would. So, you know, it's not, it's not perfect, but um, it was fun to grind. It was fun to grind and earn all these chests. So <laughs> wanted to share it with you. If people go through and start doing this strategy, I think that it could be worthwhile because you only need one deck. And yes, you will need to make spellbook purchases, but that's a $10 one-time fee. So, you know, this whole thing about the team wanting the team wanting everybody to consolidate into one account, well, they need to find some kind of solution to the ECR or give players a chance to regenerate ECR at a faster rate. Otherwise, the incentive is just going to be to delegate decks out. And sure, they may clamp down on this by, by uh, increasing the delegation cooldown time. But until they do, this is this is a, a viable strategy. And all you would do is lose out on the $10 spell books that you'd be buying for your other accounts if you were to do that. So 
I'm curious. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if this is something that you would consider doing, if you think that this is an exploit and they're going to change it quickly. And uh, so, you know, everything that I'm saying now doesn't even matter. I just want to know where the rest of the community is feeling on this right now, uh, because I think it's important to, to consider. So that's all I have for you in this video. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will catch you all in the next one and I will see you around the game. Take care.